Okay, so I'm going to talk about why I wrote my book, The One Thing and Another's. Um, the story starts a long time ago, but we'll skip forward to when I had just given birth and I didn't want to go to mother's group. And I was largely alone and one of my best friends, Felix, used to come over every day and we'd sit out the back with the baby and be like, oh. And one day he said to me, do you believe in aliens? And I was like, oh, well, you know, in general, I guess, yes. But, you, you know, mathematically speaking, you know, the, the universe is endless, time is endless and human knowledge isn't. So, yes, I believe in them. But over the course of the following few months, as we sat there and, you know, did the day to day looking after a baby <laughs> together, we talked more and more about the possibility of aliens. And I got really fascinated and I dug through all my old journals and I found like one of the first stories I'd ever written called Mrs. Perkins Plant Show. And it was about this little girl and this little creature had visited her in the night or something and told her that she was indeed half alien, half monkey. And he said to her, you know, just look around you, you know, you love trees, you love birds, you love nature, but look at all these gadgets. Like, look at the buildings that are reaching towards the sky. Look at these metals. Look at these contraptions. Look at all this stuff that isn't natural. You know, are we half belonging to the earth and half belonging somewhere else? And at the end of the story, he, the girl was like, I still don't believe you. And he said, well, take the typical face of a monkey and take the typical face of an alien, as we know could be made up, and merge them. And then like, as she merged them, she looked in the mirror and she was like, oh, it's my face. So that was a story I wrote when I think I was in primary school. But anyway, that's not the reason entirely. 